Hi guys and welcome, Gnembon here with a snapshot review. Today, which is Wednesday, October 9th, Moyang has dropped yet another 1.15 snapshot and in this snapshot they finally showed us one of the last additions in the Bees update, which they also shown during the Minecon show, which is the Honey Block. So I'm filling up for in Mango, who hasn't arrived yet after Minecon, which is a little weird. They should have turned left on Albuquerque. Oh, and yes, if you haven't heard about Minecon, it's kinda a yearly thing where Moyang presents their future plans, and this time around they announced that the theme for the next big update, which will be Minecraft 1.16, will be the Nether update. Honestly, absolutely no one saw that coming, promise. But it's good that they finally are doing something with that place. Also, as part of this year's show, there's a technical Minecraft panel, finally after several years, with yours truly and other members of the SciCraft server, which, as I mentioned, are still missing in action. So let's look at the honey block. To craft it, you need to put uh, honeycombs in a 9x9 pattern in the crafting grid, and this gives you one honey block. Still little problems with the rendering, I guess. It's a little expensive because, for, for example, for slime blocks, which are roughly the same, you just need slime balls, which are really easy to obtain. With this guy, the way to obtain honey is actually a little bit on the slow side, so it will be a harder block to get in survival in large quantities. So as been shown in the Minecon live show, players can slide on its side when uh, moving on the honey block. It feels, maybe not slimy, but gooey, that's for sure. And then when you land on the honey blocks, it also moves really slowly. One of the features that they also advertised was that player cannot jump out of this block into the next one and to re that's really the case, yeah? You just cannot do that. But this is also a weird survival side effect. As you can see, the problem is that we can't really pillar up with honey blocks, which is, which is interesting to say the least. And also pillaring down is a little bit weird because it actually kind of slows us down. As you can see, it's not instamined. Which might be actually pretty useful in flying machines because you cannot just break those blocks by accident. Speaking about flying machines, since blocks stick to the honey, you can also build flying machines out of it. Unfortunately, slime block also sticks to them, meaning it's rather useless in the flying tech, which is a real shame that could revolutionize that part of technical Minecraft, which I barely understand myself. I heard that the developers had a really hard time justifying why it shouldn't stick to slime blocks, but if you think the slime block is like a peanut butter and uh, honey is like a jelly, everything sticks to them, but if you make a PBJ sandwich, often jelly slides off of it, making a huge mess. Weird flex, but okay. The benefit of using honey blocks versus slime blocks, as I said, is the fact that they don't break instantly, meaning that it's a little bit safer to build something permanent out of them in survival. Can kind of overcome the pillaring problem, you can actually still pillar up with honey blocks, just figure out here, so you just need to scoot over so the player is not directly on top of his honey block and then you can jump normally, so yeah, you can do something like that. Ah, I guess, it's still doable. Yeah, one cool feature of the honey block is that entities can stick to it as well, which means that it can push entities that are not just on that block, but are touching it as well. That's also something that they hinted during Minecon. This is definitely a mechanic that will be very useful in mob conveyors, weird item transportations, maybe like this one, uh, player conveyors, and <laughs> maybe for further abuse of water sheep. I don't know. <laughs> but it, at least it's very unique and, and new. One useful thing about the honey block is that it negates all fall damage. So unlike, for example, blocks like uh, hay blocks or beds that negate part of the fall damage, and also unlike slime blocks that push you back in the air, Honey block just puts you right in place, which means that it might be useful in like player transportation systems in general. Unfortunately, there are still bugs with this block. Uh, if you, for example, slide on its side, if you touch the ground, yeah. <laughs> it seems like you are still accumulating the fall damage, which means that, uh, yeah, that's something that there's, they definitely should fix in the next snapshot. So that was the new honey block. It's definitely a great addition to the game. I wish for the slime stoners that honey would not stick to the slime, but hey, you get what you get, don't be upset. So as I said, I was filling up for El Mango next time, probably he should be back for more technical snapshot reviews, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you are new for more such content in the future, and see you in the next one, bye bye!